हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई मिसेस माधवी मात्रे वेलकम यू ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स वन वी आर स्टडिंग चैप्टर नंबर फाइव लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स देन वी सॉ मेथड्स टू सॉल्व द साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन here in this chapter you have two different methods to solve the simultaneous equation first is elimination method and second is substitution method but the second method is under the reduced syllabus you know that 25% syllabus is reduced okay because of this covid 19 pandemic so it is under the reduction in syllabus so we have studied only one method that is elimination afterwards we have solved the sums based on that now let's go towards the application of the simultaneous equation that means word problems based on simultaneous equations okay now while solving the word problems we have to follow certain steps okay so here the very first step is what read the given word problem if you don't understand it read it again read it twice okay you have to carefully read the word problem and you have to try to understand it then the second step is that from the given information you have to use proper variables for given quantities means what their two quantities will be unknown so out of that we have to assign variable x to one quantity and y to other quantity you can take any other variables also then the third step is what by using those variables we have to form mathematical statements or the equations and we have to number them as 1 and 2 okay then we know two methods to solve the equations but now here we are having only one method because i told that one method is under the reduced syllabus so we will use that method to solve the equations as we have done in practice set 5.1 and then we will write down the solution and from that we will write down the answer okay so writing the final answer in words is compulsory here so we have to use that method here to find the solution and we need to find the answer means whatever things which are which are asked in word problem that we need to write properly okay so these are the steps or you can say this is a flow chart which you can use to solve the word problems based on simultaneous equations okay now which type of word problems will come so let us see that so here we have various types of word problems like problems regarding age age of father and son or age of mother and daughter so any problem regarding that age then problems regarding numbers two digit number three digit number or natural numbers so any problems regarding numbers can appear here then problems based on fractions that means they will give us the conditions about numerator and denominator and we have to find out fraction then problems based on money transactions problems based on geometrical properties that means we have to use various properties here some formulas we have to use from mensuration chapter then problems based on speed time and distance okay so here in this way we have various types of word problems now let us start solving practice set 5.2 okay so the first question here is in an envelope there are some 5 rupee notes and some 10 rupee notes total amount of these notes together is 350 rupees number of 5 rupee notes are less by 10 than number of 10 rupee notes okay now see here there is a printing mistake here those who are having old textbook edition there here these two words are missing so after that you have to write down twice the so number of 5 rupee notes are less than less by 10 than twice the number of 10 rupee notes then find the number of 5 rupee and 10 rupee notes okay so we have read the question 
so now first of all we need to try to understand it that here there are two types of nodes one are 5 rupee nodes and the second is 10 rupee nodes and that only we have to find out so whatever we want to find out there we need to assign the variables x and y okay for example for 10 uh, 5 rupee nodes we will take x let let there are x 10 rupee uh, 5 rupee nodes and y 10 rupee nodes so for 5 rupee nodes we are taking x and for 10 rupee nodes we are taking y so in this way we have assigned the variables now after this we will find two conditions see the first condition total amount of these nodes together is 350 rupees so this will give us first equation and the second condition here number of 5 rupee nodes are less by 10 than twice the number of 10 rupee nodes this is second condition so by using these two conditions we will get two different equations or we will get simultaneous equations and then we will solve them okay so let us start whatever is unknown always take help of the last statement to assign the variables so write down let the number of 5 rupee nodes be x and that of 10 rupee nodes be y okay so by using the first statement and the last statements we have assigned the variables here now see the first condition according to the first condition total amount of these nodes together is 350 see 5 rupee nodes are x so the amount here is 5x and 10 rupee nodes are y so amount is 10y so together it gives us 350 rupees so what we can write down here is according to the first condition here that the total amount is 350 therefore 5x plus 10y is equal to 350 correct because the value of x nodes of 5 rupees is rupees 5x and the value of y nodes of 10 rupees is rupees 10y and together they are giving us 350 rupees so we can write it like this now observe the equation carefully 5 10 and 350 all are divisible by 5 so we can reduce this equation further we can make it simple by dividing by 5 so when we divide by 5 every year here we will get x here we will get 2y because 2 5s are 10 and here 350 when divided by 5 we will get 70 so this we will number as equation 1 okay so by using the first condition we framed first equation now here i have written all these statements to make you understand that how the equation has come but you can write it directly also if you understand it better you can directly write down the equation if you find it easy you can write it directly now let's go towards the second statement number of 5 rupee notes are less by 10 than the number of 10 rupee notes now when such statement comes you know here you have to divide the statement into two parts if you find the word like is are was were that word here here the statement is divided this first part is giving you the left hand side of the equation and the next part to the r is going to give you the right hand side of the equation okay so here number of 5 rupee nodes means what x okay so x is less than 10 by rupees 10 less means what minus 10 okay so if we it write it properly see here directly the equation is framed but i will explain you how it is framed number of 5 rupee nodes means what x correct then i said r stands for equal to so x is equal to less by 10 than twice the 10 rupee notes twice means two times so two times y and less means minus 10 okay so if you don't understand uh, to write the equation directly like this first you can write it like this okay so here you can write like this that x is equal to 2y minus 10 and from that if you change the side of x it will go that side so it will become 
टू वाई माइनस एक्स एंड टेन इफ यू शिफ्ट दिस साइड इट विल बी टेन दिस साइड ओके सो इट इज सी हियर द डिफरेंस इज टेन डिफरेंस ऑफ वॉट द टेन रुपी नोट्स ट्वाइस माइनस द फाइव रुपी नोट्स दैट डिफरेंस इज टेन और यू कैन राइट इन दिस वे ऑल्सो एज आई हैव सेड स्प्लीट द स्टेटमेंट एंड राइट इट लाइक दिस Okay, now see here we have x and y as a sequence, but here we have y and x, so we need to write it properly. Okay, so if we write it properly, then we will get minus x plus two y is equal to ten. Okay, so this is equation number two. We got both the equations. Now the next step is to solve these two equations. Now here, what we can observe is the coefficient of x is one both the places. Also, the sign is opposite. So if we add these two, then x will be cancelled. X will be eliminated, and we will get value of y. Okay. Somebody will write this equation as x minus two y is equal to minus ten. Then also it is okay. You can write down the equation in many ways. Okay. Finally, your answer should be correct. So here in this case, I can find here x and minus x. So if I add these two equations, then x will be cancelled. So let's do it. Adding equations one and two. So write down equations one and two one below another like this. See x plus two y is equal to seventy. First equation plus minus x plus two y is equal to ten. Second equation. Now. X and X will get cancelled here, and here, two y plus two y, I will get four y is equal to eighty, and from that, y is equal to eighty divided by four, that is twenty. So we got the answer of twenty. Now let us put this value of y in any one equation here, either one or two, and get the value of x. So write down substituting, y is equal to 20 in equation 1 you can see here equation 1 we have to replace y by 20 so x as it is plus 2 into bracket 20 means y we are replacing by 20 is equal to 70 so 2 into 20 40 x plus 40 is equal to 70 and therefore x is equal to 70 minus 40 that is 30 okay So we got value of y as twenty and value of x as thirty. Now, since it is a word problem, our final answer should be a statement. So we have to write down. Therefore, there are thirty notes of five rupee each and twenty notes of ten rupee each. Okay. Or you can write down number of five rupee notes is equal to thirty and number of ten rupee notes is equal to twenty. Okay. I hope you must have completed if it. If you are not completed, pause the video and complete it. Now uh, let's go towards the next question. Question number two. So here, let us read the problem. The denominator of a fraction is less than twice its numerator. If one is added to numerator and denominator respectively. The ratio of numerator to denominator is three is to five. Find the fraction. Okay, so here this problem is based on fraction. We are provided the conditions, and there from that we have to find out the fraction. So you know that a fraction is having a numerator and a denominator. That means here numerator we will take as x and denominator we will take as y. okay so always try to understand that what quantities you will assign the two different variables so for here numerator we will assign x and for denominator we will assign y so let us start let the numerator of the fraction be x and the denominator be y so from this we can write down the fraction as x upon y the fraction which we want to find out see find the fraction so write down therefore the required fraction is x upon y which we need to find out now let us see the conditions you will find that here also two conditions are provided the first condition here 
the denominator of a fraction is c here you have to break the statement so this is your left hand side and after is it is your right hand side okay so according to the first condition the denominator of a fraction means what y e stands for equal to 1 less than twice the numerator twice the numerator means 2x and 1 less means minus 1 so y is equal to 2x minus 1 now let's write down the equation in standard form that is x plus by is equal to c okay so why you take that side so it will become minus y so 2x minus y is equal to 1 this is our equation number 1 from the first condition okay now let's read the second condition if one is added to numerator and denominator respectively means here both the places here also we have to add 1 and here also we have to add 1. And if we do so, then the ratio is 3 is to 5. That means 3 upon 5. Okay. So according to the second condition, as I have said, we are going to add 1 to both the places. So x plus 1 upon y plus 1 and then the value becomes 3 is to 5 means what? 3 upon 5. Now we have to go for cross multiplication to get the answer. So when we cross multiply here, we will get 5x plus 5 is equal to 3y plus 3. Now let's convert to the standard form like this. So let's shift y this side and this plus 5 we will shift this side. So the equation will become 5x minus 3y is equal to minus 2. So see here, this plus 5 shifted to right hand side so became minus 5 so 3 minus 5 is minus 2 this is our equation number 2 equation number 1 and 2 both are ready now we have to solve them so observe the coefficients here the coefficient of x is 2 and here it is 5 so if we want to equate these coefficients we have to multiply both the equations so let's observe the coefficients of y. Here it is 1 and here it is 3. So if we multiply equation 1 by 3, then we can equate the coefficient of y and then we can subtract the equations to get the answer. Okay. So observe carefully and do the steps accordingly. Here I observed that for x to be equal, I need to multiply both the equations. Instead, I will choose equating the coefficient of y so that I have to multiply only one equation that is equation number 1. Okay. So let us multiply equation number 1 by 3. Multiplying equation 1 by 3. So after multiplying we will get 6x minus 3y is equal to 3 number these as 3. Now we will consider equation number 2 and 3. In equation number 2 also we have minus 3y and here also we have minus 3y. The signs are same. Therefore we have to subtract. So write down. Subtracting equation 2 from 3. So equation 3 we are writing up 6x minus 3y is equal to 3 minus equation number 2 we are writing below 5x minus 3y is equal to minus 2. Now whenever we are subtracting we need to change the signs. So plus will become minus, minus will become plus and here minus will become plus. Now let's subtract. So see here this plus, minus 3y and plus 3y will get cancelled. Okay always consider the new signs and here 6x minus 5x here we will get x and here 3 plus 2 don't do minus consider the new sign 3 plus 2 is 5 so x is equal to 5 we got the answer now let's substitute this value in equation 1 okay which is easier so this is equation 1 which i have taken the original equation y is equal to 2x minus 1 because we need to find value of y. So we can take in this way. We have it there. You can just see it. So in place of x when we put 5 
we will get y is equal to 2 into 5 minus 1. That is 10 minus 1 is 9. So, value of x is 5 and value of y is 9. Okay, but we don't have to stop here. See, what we want to find? We want to find that particular fraction. That is x upon y. So, write down. Therefore, the required fraction is x upon y which is equal to 5 upon 9. Always keep in mind the final answer carries half mark. If you are not writing final answer, your half mark will be deducted. Okay. And these word problems are very much important because in 10th standard, again, you know that the same chapter is there with the same name and there also you have word problems. So this method of solving the simultaneous equation and also the framing the equations is very much important. Again, we are going to use it in 10th standard. And for this method to understand, you need practice. Okay, you have to solve the equations again and again so that you can get better practice of that. Now let's go towards the next problem that is problem number 3. Now this problem is age related problem. See every problem is different. First question was about the money transaction. Second was about the fraction. Now this third one is about the ages. So let's read the question. The sum of ages of Priyanka and Deepika is 34 years. Priyanka is older to Deepika by 6 years. Then find their today's ages or present ages. Okay, so here also uh, we can uh, find that there are two conditions given here. And after reading the problem, we can understand that here there are two girls, Priyanka and Deepika. And we have to find their ages. So, the unknown variables x and y we need to assign to their ages and that is also their present ages, correct? So, we will start with that. Let the ages of Priyanka and Deepika be x years and y years respectively. So, Priyanka's age is x years and Deepika's age is y years. Now, read the condition. The sum of ages of Priyanka and Deepika. Their sum means x plus y is equal to 34. Very easy condition was given and easily we can frame the equation. Okay, x plus y is equal to 34 from the first condition. Now next, Priyanka is elder to Deepika by 6 years. That means difference between the Priyanka's age and Deepika's age is 6 years. It shows us that x minus y is 6 years. Okay. See Priyanka is elder than Deepika is by 6 years. So it shows that difference between their ages is 6. So x minus y is 6. So very easy two equations we got here. Then also we can observe that the coefficient and the sign of the variable y. The coefficient is same. That is 1 and signs are opposite. That means if we add these two equations, the variable y will be eliminated. Variable will be cancelled. That is why this method is called as elimination method. We are eliminating one variable here. So simply adding these two equations will help us. No need of multiplying any one equation here. So let's write that. Adding equations 1 and 2. So write down equation 1 up plus equation 2 down and let's add. So here plus y and minus y will get cancelled. So here this 1x and here this 1x we will get 2x is equal to 40 and from that x is equal to 40 divided by 2 that is 20. Okay. So this question was very easy. The equations were formed very easily. Also Simply by adding, we got the answer of one variable that is x is equal to 20. Now, let's put this value here in the first equation. Okay, so write down. Substituting x is equal to 20. Substituting x is equal to 20 in equation 1. So, equation 1 is x plus y is 34. So, we are replacing x by 20. In place of x, you write down 20. 
so therefore we will get 20 plus y is equal to 34 and from that y is equal to 34 minus 20 see this plus 20 when we are shifting to right hand side it will become minus 20 so y is equal to 34 minus 20 that is 14 so we got values of x and y x is 20 and y is 14 then we need to write down the final answer as a statement that what is asked to us we have to ask the present ages of priyanka and deepika so that is our last statement that therefore the present ages of deepika and priyanka we can write it like this in the proper sequence that priyanka's age is 20 years and deepika's age is 14 years ages which we have found out okay so students here uh, i have completed three problems in the next lecture i will complete the remaining problems and then we will start with problem set you need to solve the problem set by yourself solve the like sums from the problem set i am go only going to solve the different type of sums okay so as a practice you need to solve the similar sums also try to solve the word problems from the problem set if you find any difficulty then you can ask me okay students so today we are stopping here we will meet in next lecture till that you stay home stay safe take care of yourself thank you students